Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am very happy to share this recipe with you all because this recipe happened to be favorite recipes of my grandmother then followed by my amma. Now I am preparing this for my son who really enjoys this. This recipe is an excellent make ahead meal preparation especially for those busy moms. So without wasting much time let's quickly dive into the recipe. Into a bowl I am adding in a cup of Jawar flour that is about 250 grams of Jawar flour. Make sure to use same measuring cup for all the ingredients. In this recipe the quantity of flour that you are adding in matters a lot. Next into the same I am adding in half a cup of wheat flour, 1 4th cup of basin flour, next 1 8th cup of rice flour. Next I am adding in 3 4th spoon turmeric powder, a spoon of red chilli powder, you can increase or decrease chilli powder to suit your taste. Next a spoon of jeera also known as cumin seeds. Next I am adding in a spoon of ajwain. I am just crushing them and then adding the ajwain so that the flavors are released. Next I am adding in 1 4 spoon hink, 3 4 spoon coriander powder also known as dhania powder. Next a spoon of sugar, next I am adding in a spoon of salt, next I am adding in 3 tablespoons of oil, mix this really well. Please note that all the flour used here are ground in my own domestic flour mill. I will also drop in the link of the detailed review of domestic flour mill down below this video. Please do check it out. Once everything is nicely mixed, add half a cup of chopped onions, half a cup of grated cucumber. Don't miss to add cucumber as it makes the thali patu very crispy. I am adding in finely chopped fresh coriander leaves. Mix it really well. Keep in mind that cucumber and onions will release water. Once everything is nicely mixed, now add in a cup of water, mix it well and knead it into a soft dough. This recipe is an ideal meal for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Mix it really well, yes this is how the dough looks like. Next into a thick bottom kadai, add in about 2 tablespoons of oil and then pinch off slightly larger dough than the normal roti dough. Yes, this should be the ideal size and then lightly keep spreading it all over the kadai. Once it reaches this stage, uh, you can drizzle in few drops of oil on top of the dough. And then again spread it over the kadai. You can even wet your hands with water then you can spread it over the kadai to have the easy spreading of the dough. Spread it as thin as possible to get very nice crispy thali patu and then make around 4 to 5 holes in the center of the thali patu so that the thali patu get cooks really well and then drizzle in few drops of oil on the holes and then cook for about 5 minutes without covering after 5 minutes cover the lid and then again cook for about 3 to 4 minutes after 3 minutes open the lid and now you can see that thali patu has nicely cooked then drizzle in few drops of oil on sides of the thali patu. Throughout the recipe I have used around 4 to 5 tablespoons of oil since this goes well with curd or coconut chutney so it's ok to use little more oil to get the perfect thali patu. Now you can see that it has started to leave from the sides of the kadai. Yes, the thali patu is ready to serve. 
If you like the crispier version, then allow it to cool it for about two to three minutes. Then enjoy this with either curd or coconut chutney. So, guys, do try this recipe and let me know how it turned out in the comment section. If you are new to my channel, then consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you are notified on my new post. Thank you for watching. Until next video, take care. Bye bye.